What's up, YouTube? This is Alpha Prime. As you can see here, I am only 20 shards away from a new five-star bot. I don't have any of the newest batch here, so I'm contemplating either going for that batch or, uh, let's see here, batch four. I, I'm only missing Sludge. That's a popular bot that a lot of people are telling me to go for. And then there is uh, batch one. I'm missing all of batch one. I've got all of batch two. And batch three, I don't have any of those. And that's kind of the, the one that I'm, I'm focusing on the most. I think I will pull from this one when I get uh, my next five-star crystal. Just because I really like Jazz a lot. Jazz is on my walk squad. And um, Cheetor is another bot that you need to have in your outposts. And, of course, Firefly is going to be very useful, I think, uh, when the new HQ comes out. I heard they're going to... They might be tweaking the jets and making them stronger. So Firefly is going to be a great bot, I think, for HQ uh, 17 along along with uh, Skyfire, Jetfire there. So a lot of good bots in this Legacy 3 here. Uh, Magnus is a nice bot too, but I don't really need Magnus uh, for my walk squad. It's already pretty solid. And uh, Springer would be fun, but not really too useful uh, unless I do some uh, long-range attacks. But uh, that's that. I also have, uh, as you can see here, Five Star Optimus Primal. And I've got 52,000 Shadex coins. I've been saving up quite a bit. Uh, I could have pulled him a while ago, but, you know, I've been using a lot of the Shadex coins on XP boosts here and some of the Squad Core chips for fun. They're, they're pretty fun, the Squad Core chips. Uh, you, don't, you get uh, a gold and a, and a silver quite quite regularly i think they're they're pretty even the odds of either bronze silver or gold you never know what you're going to get you might also get a gmail which is really really cool so i've been using a lot of the um shex coins on on uh, the xp boosts i think that's really really good value there thousand coins that's one weekend's worth of attacks to get a xp boost which is really really nice but let's go ahead and let's get optimus primal first and get this out of the way here that's what there you go five star optimus primal and uh, that took a long time. That's 50 weeks, basically, of saving up to get this five-star primal. And you can see right there, that's a beautiful-looking five-star bot. Let's go ahead and let's open this guy up. All right, that's number 10 for me, guys. And uh, boom, Optimus Primal. I, I don't I really use uh, him too much uh, with a four-star wise, but of course now that I've got a five-star, I'll be trying to figure out line combinations for uh, the new five-star Primal. There he is on my base there, uh, looking all shiny and blue. And of course, we're going to go for another batch here, the G1 Bundle batch. I've been uh, hammering away at this batch there. I got really lucky on the first one. I got three four-star dupes. And then um, every bundle since then, I've been getting an average of one. So we are 20 shards away. Let's go pick up one of these bundles here. We're going to we're going to basically keep pulling until we get a new five-star bot. So let's go ahead and let's, let's keep popping these crystals so we get another four-star bot. I'm pretty far away from another crystal redemption. So it's got to be a four-star, four-star or bust. Uh, I need a dupe, of course, nothing new, and I'm going to get myself a brand new five-star bot. And uh, I definitely would love, as, as I was mentioning, Jazz is the one I want. Uh, Jazz would be really, really good for my walk squad. I've got the four-star Jazz that I love. My first ever four-star bot was Jazz, so I'm looking forward to uh, a five-star Jazz. Or, of course, would love to get uh, Cheetor for my outposts. Um, Cheetor and, and uh, Slash are a very, very nasty combination in the outposts. Okay, so far we have hit a lot of two-star dupes. We got one three-star out of six crystals so far. And uh, all we need is one four-star. So hopefully we get one here. Ultra Magnus. And uh, I really love this G1 bundle here, guys. If you guys are going to spend money, this is the best bundle to buy because you're getting 40 crystals for the price of 20. Usually it's 20, it's 20 crystals for uh, 40 US or 54 uh, Canadian. So you're getting a dollar crystal US uh, for this bundle here. And of course the odds are, uh, as you can see there, they're all the same. 88% for two star, 
10% for a 3 star and 1.8 for a 4 star. 1% for that said bot. 0.8% uh, for something else. So it's it's not the great it's not the greatest odds to be honest to get four stars. But hopefully, uh, if you're gonna get 40 crystals, you should get at least one uh, four star bot. That's the hope. So here we go. Let's uh, let's get a four star bot, guys. Come on. I don't know if I have a. There's a Cheetor. I don't know if I have a. Sunstreaker G1 core. That's a really, really nice core that enhances uh, Sunstreaker's uh, flares. And that's a must-have if you have a 5-star Sunstreaker. And that's another batch that I'm really, really tempted to get because Gnaw would be great for an outpost. Sunstreaker is really nice. And, uh, of course, those are the two probably the most popular of that batch. I would like to get, uh, of course, Grimlock as well, but I don't really use that kind of strategy for uh, my walk team anymore. So don't really need the, the Grimlock or the Hot Rod uh, that are available in that batch. And of course, Jetfire would be fun to have. Or not, Sorry, my apologies. Not Jetfire. Um, Sky... Uh, um, what's his face? Having a mind cramp here. Uh, Silverbolt. Silverbolt would be really, really nice to get. But of course, um, you know... Uh, I don't know if he'll be too useful for uh, the next HQ-17 as he is. He's pretty good for HQ-16. Um, so we'll see uh, how they tweak him for uh, going forward. But uh, I've got a lot of jets on my squad already. Would love to uh, level up Jetfire Skystriker a little bit more. I think he's going to be a really, really good bot. And so far, so we've just got a lot of two-star dupes. Uh, not too many three-star dupes or a four star dupes yet so but it only takes one we just need one four star dupe guys there's a rhinox here got got the three star and the four star rhinox recently i'm i am missing actually uh a few bots i'm missing impactor but i don't think impactor is available yet in the in the four star crystal So that's one of the four stars that I am currently missing. And I'm not missing very many. I'm also missing Punch. Punch, Counter Punch. So I think there's only two there that I'm missing. So there we go. We've got some three stars in a row here. That's nice. But, uh, you know, we've got the average of the three star. We just need one four star dupe. There we go. Perceptor. Boom. Thank you very much. With a gold rejuvenate. That is a core that I really, really love. It's one of the best cores in the game. But of course, I've already got uh, many, many gold rejuves. So, I mean, uh, oh, we'd love to have space it would actually just throw me a bone here and get me a G-Metal rejuve. That'd be really, really nice. And uh, yeah, that's why I've been buying these bundles because I'm getting at least one four-star dupe per bundle, basically. So, but uh, that's worth it, uh, you know, if you are chasing five-star bots. It's worth, those odds are a little bit better, uh, getting 40 crystals for the price of 20. Uh, it's not cheap by any means, don't get me wrong. It's an expensive uh, play to go after these five-star bots, but, you know, uh, they're a lot of fun uh, to use in the high wars with these, uh, the five-star bots are quite useful. And, of course, uh, going forward in the game, I think uh, five-star bots are the way to go. So, just end out these crystals here. We got three more to go. And uh, I've got four star swoop already, and I've got his G1 core, which I really, really love. I would ch totally chase that down. I did last time. That G1 swoop core is amazing, gives you that extra protection for swoop, and a little bit stronger than uh, enhanced ordnance. So, very, very nice core. Okay, so thank you, Perceptor. Look at that. I got five crystals to redeem here, but they're all the five star there. So, um, I can redeem from this batch, this batch, Legacy 5, Legacy 4, Legacy 3, Legacy 2, Legacy 1. And I think I'm going to lean towards, as you can see there, I don't really uh, need Warpath. He's really cool. Perceptor is really cool. Uh, Rodimus is, is fun as well. This is a nice, fun batch, Legacy 5. 
Uh, like I see, like the the recent uh, batch here is really nice, but of course I only need hotspot from this group here, so it's just kind of a risky move. Uh, people love Sandstorm; he's a really really good bot, so that's definitely uh, not a bad. This is not definitely not a bad batch to go f go after if you don't have a five star healer. And Sandstorm is going to be an amazing bot once you get him leveled up pretty high. And of course, Goldfire is going to be another power leveling bot for your team. Rustus, eh, I don't know, you know, a lot of people uh, haven't really been using him too much and uh, haven't really had a lot to, good to say about Rustus. So he's probably the weakest of the five, but he's still pretty fun because he can stun defenses. So this is a good batch if you haven't been pulling from the other batches, but I have been. I need Jazz, I need Cheetor. That's the way to go. Let's go ahead and pick up one of these guys here. So let's uh, let's redeem one of these guys. Okay. So where did he go? I guess I just redeemed it. And uh, yep. See, I don't. I don't have. Here he is. Here is the five star crystal in my in my uh, space bridge here. Wish me luck again. I need Jazz or I need Cheetor. Please give me one of the other. Here we go. Come on, Jazz. Jazz. Ah, Firefly. Okay. So, not Cheetor, not Jazz, but this was my third pick from the batch. Firefly. Because, uh, you know, I mean, uh, he's. I think he'll be, he'll be fun to level and get, uh, I mean, uh, for HQ-17, I think he's going to be useful for that. Just because uh, defenses are going to have a lot more health. And uh, hopefully Space Ape gives the Jets a little bit of a boost in terms of life. So that'll be an interesting pickup there. Um, as you can see here from my team, I've gotten the two new ones, Primal and Firefly. So that's three... 5, 10, 11 five-star bots. Not as many as some of the other guys in my alliance, but I'm happy with this squad right now. I finally got a jet um, for a five-star bot. So uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, I don't. I, I might still pull again because I want to get that jazz. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is my jazz right now. A 58, 10. I love him. He's got a 50. Uh, he's got 40,100 damage from his orbital strike. Which is enough to take down a max mortar right now without a, uh, a shield core. I mean, sorry, not a shield, armor core on him. So it'd be nice to level up Jazz to 6010. Um, that's the goal, I guess, uh, going forward. If I'm not going to get a five star Jazz, got to keep leveling up this four star Jazz and trying and uh, make do with what I got. Okay. I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Glad uh, it, we got uh, the five star on the first batch of crystals. And uh, good luck out there. Uh, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a Windblade video. Here's my Windblade at 56.9. Uh, as you can see here, I, I think I need to level her up a little bit more. But I love Windblade. She's one of my favorite bots to use on my Rush squad. So we'll make a video of how I use Windblade in action very shortly. This is Alpha Prime of the One Elites. Thanks for watching. Peace out.